Hello and welcome to Rathod's IES. Today in this session, we are going to see the current affairs of 29th December 2023. So first of all, we are going to see Delhi edition and we are going to see the PDF of Hindu and we are going to pick out the important articles which are relevant from our examination. And after that, we are going to see the different dimensions that you have to think from that article point of view. And if there is any need, I will be also giving you the brief background of that topics. And I will, I will be also explaining like how the questions will be asked in your prelims and as well as means. And if you are watching this Rathod's IAS, please do it consistently. So please do watch consistently so that I can say like within five months, you will be understanding how to read newspaper from our examination point of view for sure. Okay, so now let's get started. So this is the front page. So this article is talking about Qatar court drops death penalty for eight Indians. So this article is important. Okay, so we are going to see some important dimensions actually. So this article is talking about India Qatar relations. It's talking about India Qatar relations. So you have to know what is the background of this article. So if you say background, former Indian Navy officer. Okay, so about eight members, they were awarded with this capital penalty or capital punishment. So this capital punishment is also called as death penalty. Avoid with this capital punishment or death penalty. So now here Qatar says that we are withdrawing that. So in this context you have to see. So what is the issue? Why this people they got this award? have to know why what are the reasons and there is also a chance of getting question regarding this death penalty so you have to see death penalty from India point of view so all these are dimensions that you have to know and this death penalty is also important from your ethics whether we can give this ethic, uh, with, whether we can go for the death penalty or not. So this is also one debate that is going on regarding this ethics point of view. So all these are very important. Okay. So now let us see the next topic. It is about Pegasus spyware. Pegasus spyware found on generalist phones after Apple alert says Amnesty. So this article which is talking about one important malware okay that is pegasus so actually this pegasus is not only uh, the new thing here because already from 2020 onwards this pegasus is seen highly in news so at that time the news was the most of influential people okay like rajiv gandhi and uh, okay sorry rahul gandhi and also like other opposition party leaders and also journalists so their mobiles have been affected or at infected with this Pegasus. So Pegasus it is a spyware or we can say malware. So it is a malware or spyware. So you have to know about some facts regarding this Pegasus. Like what is this Pegasus? You have to know what is this Pegasus and you have to know about what it does and who owns this and what is the impact of this spyware or malware so all these are the important dimensions that you have to know regarding this pegasus so i already gave you the background now it is saying that some generalist phones they have been infected by this pegasus but earlier from 2019 onwards, we are seeing this Pegasus in news. Okay, so all those things are very important. We are going to see that. 
and you can leave the city page there is nothing much important and even in the most of the articles of the states page also i found nothing much important so which is important i am going to take that for the discussion don't worry okay so don't waste much time because prelims is very much new you have to focus on even csat yes next topic here is will bring ordinance to enforce kannada signage say siddha ramaya so here you have to focus on the keyword that is ordinance so keyword is ordinance so now let us see this topic in detail so here the keyword is ordinance so ordinance is nothing but in simple words you can put like it is a law making power It is a power of law making. So actually, who have this power of law making? That is legislature. So if you see, we have three organs of state. We have executive, we have legislature, and we have judiciary. Yes, sir. No? And these three have their own works. So executive needs to implement the laws. So executive need to implement the laws. and legislature should make the laws and judiciary need to interpret the laws so legislature means nothing but members of parliament as yes or no so they will present in which place that is in the lok sabha and rajya sabha so whenever sessions are going on between this lok sabha and rajya sabha and this legislature they will make the laws So, if you are talking about sessions of our houses of parliament, we have winter session, monsoon session, budget session. So, we will be having three sessions. So, what happens if our houses are not in session? There is a need of urgent making of laws. So, at that time here, so the law making power is present with heads of the state and country. That is, president and as well as governor. So these are the nominal uh, heads of the states, right? So president and governor. So whenever houses they are not in session, so now here the power which is given to the president and governor to make the laws. So the which article talking about ordinance making power of president? That is Article One Twenty Three, and here Article Two One Three. So now this article says that here the governor is going to use this article two one three to make a law. Okay, so here in this context, from prelims point of view, you can get a question from your basic facts. So here there is chance of getting question. For example, like facts of this ordinance, and you can see what is the impact of this ordinance. and if you open your lakshmikant book you in president chapter you will be having a paragraph regarding this ordinance so please go to that paragraph and this one is you have to see like this ordinance has been misused a lot so you have to know about misuse of this ordinance it is also called as ordinance raj it is also called as ordinance raj so all these things that you are going to see now and if you move on here you can see one important image so this image it is about mudiyetu okay so this uh, image is very important from your history from gs paper one point of view and you can get prelims based question here ki mudiyetu it is a temple ritual theater and you can directly move on to this editorial page So in this editorial page, I found nothing much important. So this article is important. It is talking about farm crisis. So because of this crisis in farm, okay, farming or agriculture, now you they are migrating to other places. So I want to ask you one question: so How many of you are from farmer background? Okay, how many of you are from farming background?
So I want to ask one question here. So why farmers they don't want their children to become a farmer? Yes, are you saying this or not? So this is evident in my family, not uh, my uh, family, but my husband's family. Okay, so they are from agriculture background or farming background. And actually, uh, my father-in-law he don't want his son to do agriculture. So why? What are the reasons? So I know some reasons. So please let me know your opinion regarding this farming. And and one more question I want to raise here is. So what is the future of agriculture after 75 years or after 50 years? So after 50 years, how our agriculture is going to be changed? Okay, so please think about uh, this topic on these lines and please let me know your perspective so that I will be sharing my opinion tomorrow, okay, in tomorrow's class. So this article is also important and... In this text and context, there are two articles. So, first one is Houthis attack. So, these Houthis, they are from Yemen. Already we know that. And we saw map regarding this topic number of times from last three to four days. You are seeing that. So, just we are going to see the gist what is happening. Clear? And next, one more article which is important. That is about East Pegasus spyware targeting journalists in India. So, here... You have to see some details to a given here. So why it is in news now? Because Amnesty International is claiming that there is an evidence of this Pegasus. Okay, there is an evidence of Pegasus spyware. So this spyware which is targeting Indian journalist. Okay, so this is after analysis of Apple. So if you are talking about this details, Anand Mangli was targeted via zero click exploit. And in an I message related to his investigative work, while Siddharth Varadharajan was targeted using the same attacker control email address. So how it will be installed? Like for example, if you are getting any email, okay. So if you are clicking any link in the which is provided in the email, automatically Pegasus will be having access. And apart from that, this zero click exploit means even if you are not clicking anything, so that Pegasus will be installed in your mobile phone. So this uh, spyware method is known as blast past. Okay, so this is called as blast past. It exploited vulnerabilities in iMessage by sending malicious content aiming to install Pegasus on the victim device without their interaction. So that means nothing but this blast past. It is talking about zero click exploit. So whenever you are getting messages through this iMessage, so even if you are not having any intervention there or interaction there. Yes, even though the Pegasus will be installed in your mobile. Okay, so this is about this topic. And here you can get a question like recently blast past seed news. What is related to? It is related to Pegasus. So in this also you can expect question. We don't know like how the question will be asked in UPSC. It is highly unpredictable. Okay, clear. And now let us move on. And let us see this news page. So in this page also I found nothing much important. But here you can see one keyword. That is police seek polygraph test for six accused in parliament case. So this article is talking about security breach in parliament. So around six members had been involved in this. So actually they are going for this polymorph test. So here you have to see what is this polymorph test. That's it. Okay, so this is very important. From your science and technology point of view. And here in this news page, you can see an article. It is about Aishman cards. So, women account for 49% of Aishman cards, says ministry. Okay, so here this article is talking about Aishman Bharat. Okay, so this article is talking about Aishman Bharat scheme. So whenever any scheme it is seen in use, that is important from GS paper to governance. That is important from GS paper to governance point of view. And one more thing here is, you have to see 
key provisions you have to see the provisions of this scheme and you have to see who are eligible and which ministry is running this scheme and whether it is a central sector or or centrally sponsored scheme so you have to know these things so these are very very important and especially you have to do some analysis analysis like what are the benefits and what are the drawbacks and you can also add like what are the challenges all these things are very very important from your analysis so this analysis will be important from your mains so what are the facts we are going to see those facts are important from your prelims Okay, so these are very very important. Clear? And now you move on. So in this economic page, also I didn't find much thing much important. So these are the important articles that appeared in our today's Hindu newspaper. And now let us see the notes part. And if you want to get this notes of this class, you can join the Telegram channel. Link is given in description box. There you will be uh, getting an option of downloading of notes. Okay, we will be posting the notes every day in the Telegram channel. You can follow the Telegram channel. And even if there are any updates regarding the class, you are posting the updates in the Telegram channel itself. So now let us see the first topic. It is about india Qatar relations. So this article, as I said, it is important from your international relations. So now let us see the context. It says that the first major breakthrough in the case against eight former Indian naval personnel sentenced to death in, a, in Qatar, the Court of Appeals in Doha has commuted their sentences. Okay, so here the key word here is commuted. Commuted. So if you have gone through this topic called as pardoning powers. A pardoning powers of president as well as governor we have pardon commute remit respite yes or no so we have how many pardoning powers five so one such is commute so please let me know meaning of commute in the comment box because it is very important so pardoning means leaving them free but commute means changing from one Changing from one punishment to another punishment. For example, here we have death penalty. So, what is the punishment here? Death penalty. That death penalty can be converted into life imprisonment. So, like that we have this commute. Commute is a one of the pardoning power. So, now let us see the details. It says that what is the death penalty in India? So, before that let us see the map of Qatar exactly where it is located. So here this is our Qatar. So which are the countries sharing boundary? So here we have Saudi Arabia. Here we have UAE. And it is surrounded by the water on all the three sides. Okay, one side it is attaching to the land. And on three sides it is surrounded by the water. So this type of uh, country is called as which type of country? Yes, tell me. So please let me know in the comment box. Okay. So the water bodies that are present here is here we have Dhawad Salva Bay, here we have Persian Gulf, okay, and here we have Gulf of Bahrain. So Bahrain is an island nation, but not Qatar. So countries are sharing boundary are Saudi Arabia and as well as UAE. So they are, those are the two countries which are sharing boundary with this Qatar. And please let me know economy of this Qatar is dependent on what? And now let us see some facts on this death penalty in India. So the purpose of this death penalty is to deter people from doing something. So we are, stop, uh, we are stopping the people to do something by instilling fear in them about what will be the consequence. 
if you are doing anything wrong so you need to get punishment right so with that punishment here so we are making to uh, improve the fear in the people to not to that uh, to not to do that same crime again so the punishment applies to heinous and traumatizing offenses to society for example murder rape or rape with murder etc to that uh, crimes here the death penalty will be given and according to death penalty in india report 2022 So it says that trial courts across country they imposed 165 death sentences in 2022, and then this number was the very very highest in a single year. So death penalty in India report is published by Project 39A. It is very important. Okay, so this Project 39A is a advocacy group which is based in New Delhi, and this Article 39A of Indian Constitution. so this will provides for a free legal aid so this will provides free legal aid to the poor and weaker sections of the society and even it is focusing on providing justice for all okay it is focusing on providing justice for all in india death penalty is carried out by hanging as a primary method so in india death penalty means nothing but we are going for hanging to death So, what are the accusations on these eight former Navy officers? So, first one is the accused individuals. They were employed by AI Dhara, okay, Al Dhara in Doha, and they allegedly accused of breaching sensitive secrets. So, they are they are having allegation that they re, they revealed the sensitive information, okay, and Dhara Global Technologies and Consultant Services. so this is the company which is worked for and also it is linked for the production of italian origin submarines and this company is also very much well known for this sheath capabilities however the specific charges they are against this eight indian nationals they have not been made public by this qatari authorities so these are the some important accusations regarding this people and now let us see the next topic it is about pegasus so it is very important from our internal security point of view and even we can study this topic under gs paper 3 under science and technology as well so if you see the context here the founder of editor of the wire news a website that is siddharth vardarajan and other journalist in india they were targeted with this pegasus spyware so this is the thing which mainly said by security lab of amnesty international and the journalist they had received an alert from apple that they were being targeted by state sponsored hacking so even they got an a message from this apple that they are going to be targeted by the state sponsored hacking so following that their phones had been tested and they found that they had been attacked by pegasus so if you see details here nso group that is the pegasus spyware developer sells the technology owned to the governments and india's intelligence uh, intelligence bureau imported this hardware from this nso group in 2017 in 2017 itself india had been got this spyware from this uh, israel okay and if you are talking about uh, pegasus so pegasus is a type of malicious software or malware so it is normally called as a spyware so it is designed to gain access to devices without the knowledge of users and they will gather personal information related to them and this pegasus which has been developed by israeli firm that is nso group and the earliest version of this pegasus discovered which was captured by researchers in 2016 and actually this infected phones through the what is called as spear phishing the text messages or emails that trick a target into clicking on the malicious link So actually, uh, if you if you're talking about the Pegasus, how it is installed in your mobile phones, like so, if you're if you're uh, going through the messages or if you're going through your mails, sometimes you will be getting some links, and they will be asking to click the links. So if you click the links, then that software or virus that will be entering into your mobiles. In the same way, Pegasus will be also using some links, and even it is have the capability of the zero click attack also. that means even if without your interaction also even even if you're not clicking anything that pegasus will be installed in your mobile phone okay since then nso attack capabilities have become more advanced and now we have this technology called as zero click attacks 
it do not require any interaction from the phone's owner and these will often exploit the zero day vulnerabilities which are the flaws or bugs in an operating system that the mobile phone's manufacturer does not yet know about about and so had not been able to fix even if once this pegasus had been installed you might not be knowing that is your phone has been in, uh, affected infected or installed with this pegasus that means technology you are using now so if we're talking about what are steps taken by the government to address the cyber attacks so first one here is our government of india came up with the cyber surakshit bharat initiative and the cyber surakshit bharat initiative it was launched in year 2018 and the important aim of this surakshit initiative it is to spread awareness about cyber crime and even to build capacity building for safety measures and this one is national crime security or coordination center so this center was well developed to scan internet traffic and communication metadata okay and you can also identify the real time cyber threats and we can also identify this real time cyber threats and this one is cyber swachhata kendra in 2017 this platform was introduced for internet users to clean their computers and devices okay to clean their computers and devices by wiping out viruses and malware and this one is we have i4c that is indian cyber crime coordination center so it was recently inaugurated by the government and you are also having this national cyber crime reporting portal and this also had been launched throughout india and we are also having certain certain is nothing but computer emergency response team so this certain it is a nodal agency which deals with cyber security in india regarding hacking phishing etc so all these are very important and now let us see next topic it is about <clears throat> one indian ritual theater that is moody at 2 so there is a chance of getting question regarding this moody at 2 in your prelims so we are going to see some facts okay focus on facts that's it so moody at 2 is kerala's ritual theater and it is performed based on the account of goddess kali struggle on demon darika so you have to know about this god that is kali and demon is darika and it is performed in state of kerala so these three are very important things and it is a village wide ceremony in which everyone takes part so the locals arrive at the temple early in the morning on a designated day after the summer crops have been gathered and this moodiyat to performers they purify themselves via fasting and prayer and then they use colored powders to create a large picture of goddess kali and it is known as kalam so the temp on the temple floor here where goddess spirit is invoked and this moodiyat to is yearly festival which is held in bhagwati kaus that is goddess temples in various villages in kerala so this event which will be done between february and may okay so after the harvesting season so to give the performance a supernatural feel the actors they will wear extensive makeup and magnificent outfits and traditional facial painting headgear etc and goddess kali floor pattern which is called as kalam is drawn and subsequently that is also worshiped in 2010 that is 2010 it has been included in unesco's list of intangible heritage site so it is very very important so these are some important facts that you have to remember and now let us see next topic it is about ordinance so this article is important from your polity which comes in the gs paper too and here you have to know about some analysis based points also because there is chance of getting both prelims and as well as mains based question here so if you see context it says that after a protest okay it says that after a protest in karnataka by activist ye karnataka rakshana vedike in city demanding use of kannada on sign boards so we'll be using number of sign boards right so in our sign boards the demand here is we have to use this kannada so because of this now karnataka government it is decided to promulgate an ordinance to come up with a law in this regard so the new law will cover sign boards of shops and business establishments government agencies in the states they can be now published in kannada language so if you are talking about details like what is the ordinance making power 
Article 213, 213 which states that governor of the state which uh, have the power to make the laws whenever houses are not in session. So these ordinances they have the same legal force and effect as, as an act of legislature. But it is temporary in nature. That means whenever houses they are coming into session, so again this has to be passed. So if it is not passed in the houses, then it will be end. So now if you are talking about this ordinance making power, it has been misused a lot. So misuse of this ordinance making power. So first one is deliberate by, by bypassing the legislature. At times there are some instances. So at times there are instances that legislature is being deliberately bypassed. There are some instances that legislature is being deliberately bypassed. To avoid debate and deliberations on the contentious legislative proposals, here this is against ethos and spirits of democracy. That means wantedly sometimes president and governor, they want to pass the laws or they want to make the laws whenever houses are not in session. So it will be undermine the spirit of democracy. So because of this, it is one of the important reasons that we can say this ordinance making power has been misused. And this one is re-promulgation of ordinance. So as observed by Supreme Court, re-promulgation of ordinances is a fraud. That means whenever, for example, if I am a governor, so I came up with an ordinance now. Now houses are not in session, I came with ordinance. And what happens, so what if it is not passed, then it will be end. And again, whenever houses they are being in recess, again I will be using the same power and I will be again coming up with the same law. And whenever houses came into session, it is not passed, then it will be end. Again, again and again, I will be doing the same process, re-promulgation of the ordinance. Okay, re-promulgation of ordinance is a fraud. So, this is the thing which is said by Supreme Court of India. And even, so because of this ordinance making power, it will be undermining this separation of powers concept. So, in case one of the Bharati versus State of Kerala case, the so Supreme Court listed that separation of powers is a base structure. But this separation of powers, it is mainly undermined because of this promulgation of this art, of this ordinance. And even the satisfaction of governor is important. So ordinance can be promulgated only when the governance is satisfied. Okay, so that will lead to the misuse of power as well. So in this way here, we can see misuse of ordinance is going on in our country. And now let us see next topic. It is about uh, farming crisis. And I ask you two questions, right? So please give me your reply regarding that two questions for sure. Okay, I want answer from each and everyone who are watching this video. Okay, so please do remember and please give me at least try to think from now onwards. So till now, I don't know whether you have thought about this problems or not. So, but every day I am trying, I will be trying to give you one problem and I will, I will want to get the, I want to get the uh, response from you students. So please do give response so that we will be having more interactive sessions and I want to make you to think because thinking process is very helpful for even attending interview and to develop your personal knowledge. Okay, so try to think and if you see this article it says that so recent there is episode of force of return of three North three Indians who were detained at French airport is suspected to be another such instance or words trafficking. So again, 303 people had been returning back. So there is a case of trafficking. So regarding this human trafficking, we discussed some important things like, so what are the reasons for this human trafficking and why human trafficking is going on. And we also studied like what are the conscious provision which are protecting people from this human trafficking. So all those things that you have to remember. And if you see the recent episode of forced return of three North three Indians who were detained at the French airport is suspected to be another such an incident or words or trafficking. About 20 of them sought asylum in France where the, while the rest returned to Mumbai on Tuesday. So actually some of them they returned, they remained there and some of them they returned. So however, it is well known now that alarming number of Indians, nearly 1 lakh and five times the number of previous years they are attempting to enter US between October to September. So even people wants to go to other countries. There is a forced migration is seen. So this is data which is released according to US Customs and Border Protection data. And even there are some initial reports which says that 
Current incident also bear the tell tale signs what has been reported in the past such cases. So actually majority of this uh, people who are migrating from India to other countries, they are from states like Punjab, Haryana and Gujarat. And the immediate reasons for this uh, migrations, they have been like uh, re there is religious persecutions. Okay, the first reason here is religious persecution and second one is distress in farming. So farming they are not causing the not bringing the good profits there is distress in this farming so regardless of this reason it is a time that indian government paid attention to trafficking racket and here government need to provide awareness uh, regarding this trafficking in the rural areas and here government need to protect the people okay and if if government is not taking the steps here what happened there will be still further exaggerating of this crisis okay so because of this the farmers they will be exploited much so to crack down the exploited middlemen in the labor market it is a one step that can be started by government as soon as possible so that here we can ensure that farmers are getting the good profits and next topic it is about how the attacks okay how the attacks it is a threat to global shipping so this article is important from your gs paper to under international relations so now let us see what are the points that are given here and already we discussed this topic Right, so because of this drone attacks which are happening on the ships, so even Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guards they had been get activated. So if you see the context, it says that in the recent drone attacks on merchant vessels in Red Sea by Houthi rebels, so this attack which had been raised a lot of concerns about maritime security, about disrupting global trade, and as well as it will be also having impact on economies. So these attacks they have prompted some shipping companies to reroute vessels and to avoid Red Sea. Okay, so they are going for rerouting of vessels and they don't want to move to this Red Sea. But whenever they are rerouting the uh, route here, that will lead to increasing of time traveling and even that will be increasing of this transportation cost as well. So India highlighted its presence deploying various resources to counter these potential threats in the region and India also said that we are going to monitor this maritime activities in this region and however there are some uncertainties here persisting regarding this potential future attacks and even what are the status that can be taken by the countries and because of this we can see there will be lot of impact on the global trade okay so these are some important things that you have to remember regarding this article and these are the important articles that appear in our today's hindu newspaper and now i want to make a small announcement we in Rathor is we launched this daily mains answering course and this course is especially benefit for your for beginners especially who are facing problem regarding answer writing fear of writing and who are having the fear of uh, organizing content and how to present so all for all these problems the solution is here daily mains answer writing practice so here we are going to give you a weekly schedule that is around 52 weeks of schedule Okay, that will contain not more than three to four topics or three to four chapters. So based on that, you will be getting daily one question and you are writing that question. And after writing that question, you will be sending that question PDF format to our mail ID so that we are going to provide you the detailed evaluation. And after that, we will be resending the corrected copy with the feedback to your mail ID. So based on that, you will be improving. So here in this course, we are going to cover entire your GS which includes paper 1, paper 2, paper 3 and paper 4. But on Sundays, you will be having case study or essay. Okay, you will be having case study or essay on Sundays. And what are the questions that we are providing essay or case study? We are going to even provide you the modal answer so that if you are facing problem regarding the content, then you can collect the content. And even we are going to provide you the detailed evaluation of your answer like what you wrote, what can be written. So what can be deleted, what can be added, everything will be given in a detailed feedback. And apart from that, you will be also having live doubt clearing sessions on every Sunday. So there will be one to one and a half hour class every week so that we are going to discuss uh, problems that you are facing and we are going to write essay online. Okay. So this course is absolutely beneficial for the beginners. And if you want to join this course, so please contact me on this number 8074. Seven six double five one three, and even this is a WhatsApp number. You can text me on WhatsApp. 
the cost here is 8200 rupees if you can't pay this amount in one go you can pay in two installments okay so that's all try to join this course it is absolutely very very beneficial so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lecture so if you like like this class hit the like button and please do subscribe to rathor's is academy thank you so much for watching